Hello, my name is Indo Kanjoko. Hello, you are welcome to my name is lecture. Indo Kanjoko. This is another lecture in PUL 445. This is another lecture in PUL 445. We are going to law look at another topic, topic in the law of evidence. We are going to look at another topic is judicial notice. And that's a what big is judicial notice. judicial notice. What is the nature of judicial what is notice? Judicial notice? Why is it nature? We are notice? going to look at Why judicial notice of notorious facts. We are going to look at not judicial, judicial, judicial not of notice of notorious facts. I believe that you will enjoy today's class. I believe that you will enjoy today's class. Welcome. Once again, you are welcome to today's lecture. We are examining the concept of judicial notice. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to examine the meaning of judicial no notice and highlight and discuss facts which ought to be judicially noticed. We know that in evidence, Generally speaking, all facts in issue between parties ought to be proved by evidence. And that evidence may be documentary. It may be oral. What holds way is that idea that he who asserts must prove that which he asserts. That's the general principle of law. But in certain exceptions, that concept of he who asserts must prove doesn't operate. And one of those exceptions is judicial notice. So judicial notice is the way by which a court can take cognizance of a, f of a fact or a thing otherwise than by evidence. So when a court judicially notices a particular fact, it simply means that it takes knowledge of the fact that that particular fact exists. Let us look at section 122 of the Evidence Act. Section 122 of the Evidence Act provides fact which the court must take judicial notice of subsection subsection one of section 122 provides as follows no fact of which the court shall take judicial notice under this section needs to be proved and if we look at subsection two of section 122 it provides matters for which the court ought to take judicial notice of it talks about laws and enactment and subsidiary legislation made under under those laws it talks about public acts and laws passed by the national assembly or state of Asse state assembly and subsidiary legislations the course of proceeding of the National Assembly and of the Houses of Assembly of the State of Nigeria, the assumption of office of the President, the seals of all the courts of Nigeria, the existence, title and national flag of every state or sovereign recognized by Nigeria, the territories within the Commonwealth, the divisions of time, commencement, continuous and termination of utilities between the Federal Republic of Nigeria and any other state or body of persons. The rule of the road on land or at sea. So we notice that subsection 2 provides the list of matters for which the court can take judicial notice. So the, 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 the court ought to take judicial notice of laws, for example, that are enacted in Nigeria. Let us look at the case of Benson versus Ashiru, where the court held that failure to plead, to plead the laws of Western Nigeria was not fatal 
to the case. This is because under section 73 subsection 1, which is our equivalent of section 122 sub 1, then the court is to take judicial notice of all laws enforced in any part of Nigeria. And it is unnecessary under the circumstances to plead matters of which the court take judicial notice. Even the judgment of the court shall be judicially noticed, but not when the judgment has been nullified. So we can, we, 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 that's an authority to show that the courts take judicial notice of laws which have been enacted in Nigeria. And another authority is also the case of Haruna versus State. Sorry, sorry, Haruna versus University of Agriculture, Makode. Now, in the next slide, you will be required to provide an answer to the question that was asked in that slide. The court shall take judicial notice of all laws in Nigeria. Discuss. Let us look at judicial notice of customs. What does the law say with respect to judicial notice of customs? When is it that the custom can be judicially noticed? Let us look at section 16.1 of the Evidence Act 2011. 16.1 of the Evidence Act provides that a custom may be adopted as part of the law governing a particular set of circumstances if it can be judicially noticed or can be proved to exist by evidence. Now, subsection 2 of section 16 went further to provide that the burden of proving a custom shall lie upon the person alleging its existence. So, by sub subsection 1, the custom can be judicially noticed. And that custom which has been judicially noticed can be adopted. But the question then arises. At what point can it be that a custom can be judicially noticed? How many times will the courts adopt a particular custom before it can be judicially noticed? Section 17 of the Evidence Act provides a clear answer to that. Section 17 provides that a custom may be judicially noticed when it has been adjudicated upon once by a superior court of record. So when the superior court of record has adjudicated upon a, a, upon a custom, then that custom can be judicially noticed. That is the, the position of the law. So th th there used to be issues as to how many times, whether it is once or twice, that the custom may be judicially noticed before it can be, it, be before it can be um, judicially noticed. That is to say, how many times will a custom be adjudicated upon before it can be judicially noticed by the courts? That issue has become a mute point as far as ju judicial notice of, concern, of custom is concerned. By, sub, by section 17, it is now clear that once a superior court of record has judicially noticed, has judicially adjudic has adjudicated upon a custom, then that custom can be judicially noticed. Let's look at another set of facts which the court can judicially notice. And those facts are notorious facts. When facts are so notorious that the court can take judicial notice of them, proof of them are no longer necessary. 
For example, in the case of Williams versus West African Pilot, the court held that it would take judicial notice of the fact that West African Pilot has wide readership throughout the country. So in that case, there's even no point to prove that that particular newspaper has wide readership. It's a notorious fact. For example, in Nigeria today, we can say that Vanguard newspapers, so the, the, the Sun newspapers, The Guardian, The Punch, these day newspapers, that these newspapers are national newspapers and have wide readership throughout the, 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 the country. So these are facts that are notorious. So, when a particular fact is so notorious as to the, the, that the court can take judicial notice of it, then there's even no point again trying to prove that particular fact. So there's no point proving such fact because the court take judicial notice of it. The court take judicial notice of the fact that there are seven days in a week. The court take judicial notice of the fact that ordinarily human gestation takes nine months. The court take judicial notice of the fact that there are 24 hours in a day. The court take judicial notice of the fact that normally in a year we not we have rainy season between May and June or July. So these are notorious facts. But in any event, the court can also demand that such facts be proved before it. The court has such a discretion. In the next slide, you will be asked to provide an answer to that slide. To the question contained in the slide discuss the judicial notice of customs in this lecture we have discussed judicial notice we looked at the nature of judicial notice that judicial notice is one of those exceptions to the general rule that he who asserts must prove we looked at those facts which the court is is directed to take judicial notice of as contained in section 122 subsection 2 we've also looked at notorious facts now notorious facts are facts that are so notorious that the court takes judicial notice of them and equally we've looked at judicial notice of customs i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture Thank you.